The Boy from the Dragon Palace. Retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald and illustrated by Sachiko Yoshikawa. The Boy from the Dragon Palace. A poor flower seller found no one to buy his flowers. So he decided to give them to the Dragon King who lives beneath the sea. A gift for you, Dragon King, he called, and he tossed the flowers onto the waves. The water began to swirl. Suddenly, a beautiful lady came up from the sea, and she held a little boy in her arms. A thank you from the Dragon King. The man took the little boy. The child had the snottiest nose you ever did see. Uh, what will I do with this snot-nosed boy? He will bring you luck, said the beautiful lady, but you must make shrimp for him every day. Put in vinegar, put in sugar. He likes it like that. And she disappeared beneath the waves. The man carried the boy home and made him some shrimp. He put in vinegar, he put in sugar. I just spent my last coin on shrimp for you. If you are going to bring me luck, you'd better start now. And the little boy picked up the bowl and swallowed it all. The little boy set down the bowl. He snuffled his nose on his right sleeve, snuffled his nose on his left sleeve, and then he blew his nose really hard. And the floor was covered with gold. Now the flower seller was able to buy rice and fish for himself and more shrimp for the snot-nosed little boy. Next day, the flower seller thought, I wonder if the snot-nosed little boy can provide other things too. And that night, when he fed the little boy his shrimp, he said, this wooden hut is a very poor home. I wish I had a larger house. And the snot-nosed little boy picked up the bowl and ate his shrimp. And he snuffled on his right sleeve, snuffled on his left sleeve, and then the house began to change. The house became a palace. There was rich clothing for the flower seller and silk cushions all about. That night when he fed the snot-nosed little boy, he said, it would be nice if I had some servants to take care of this palace and some cooks to prepare my dinner. Nuffle, nuffle. Honk, honk, honk. The door opened and servants marched in. The next night, the flower seller said to the cook, you make shrimp for the snot-nosed little boy. The cook put in vinegar, the cook put in sugar, but the snot-nosed little boy refused to eat. So the flower seller had to make the shrimp himself and feed the snotty child. And of course he thought of something more to ask. It would be wonderful if I had chests full of treasure. It was done. Every night the man thought of something else to ask for. A beautiful garden to walk in. A pond with golden fish. Dancers to entertain me. Now the flower seller had everything he could possibly want. But still, each day he had to go down to the market, buy shrimp, cook it up, and feed the snot-nosed little boy. What a nuisance this is. I am sick of looking at this snot-nosed little child. I am much too busy to be making shrimp for him every day, and it is so disgusting watching him eat. So the flower seller took the snot-nosed little boy out of the palace and he set him down on the road and said, that's enough with your snotty nose blowing. Go on back to the sea where you belong. And then he went inside and shut the gate. The snot-nosed little boy looked at the closed door and sadly shook his head. Then he snuffled on his right sleeve, <coughs> snuffled on his left sleeve, and ha, ha, ha. Instantly, the palace disappeared, the garden disappeared, and there was nothing left but an old wooden hut and a flower seller who was very, very poor. But down in the Dragon King's palace, the snot-nosed little boy was slurping shrimp. You can't help some humans, he muttered. So true, so true, said the Dragon King. They always want something more. 
the snot-nosed little boy snuffled, and he never once said thank you. It's always good to say thank you.